Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to another session of One Question a Day, Learning Incrementally, Oral Histology in Data History. The chapter we are continuing is dentin, and the question we are pursuing today is hypocalcified structure of dentin. In case if this is the question for you in your assignments or in your exams, talk about the DEJ, intraglobular dentin, enamel, lamellae, particularly the type C variant, the cracks, mechanism of formation of each, where, why, when, how, with the clinical significance. Jumping into the answer, dentino enamel junction is a scalloped structure formed before the development of both the heart tissues and the surface, the scalloped structure, the concavity faces the enamel and convexity facing the dentine. It is responsible for the mechanic retention increases the surface area because of the difference in the uh, calcification process. This area inherently is the area where the first form enamel and the first form dentin are located. That is the mantle dentin and the first ever formed uh, enamels are located. Hence, this area inherently has less calcification than the rest of the area. The interglobular dentin found along the circumpulpal dentin. They are globules of dentin where in uh, heterogeneous calcifications, this area fails to aggregate and that bad shaped area is called as the interglobular dentin and it is hypocalcified. There is no defect in matrix formation, but calcification. Hence, dentinal tubules pass freely without disturbance in this area and they are seen as dark bat shaped area. Enamel lamellae or thin leaf-like hypocalcified structure extending from the surface of enamel into varying depth across to the dentin. They are mostly made up of organic matter and little inorganic component. They usually developed in surface areas where there is high amount of stress. Okay, And notably, there is type C, which is very completely organic in nature. Cracks in enamel lamellae in uninterrupted tooth are filled with degenerated cells from the enamel organs or from connective tissue cells. The source could be hornified cuticles and connective tissue cells. It could be the newly forming symptom. In uninterrupted tooth, they will be filled with organic matter. The types of enamel lamellae that we have been discussing there, A, B, C. C is the organic matrix common in erupted tooth. It is the most common and the clinical significance comes from mostly this enamel amylase. They are the site of weakness and easy portal of entry of bacteria and microorganisms, hence are predisposed to caries. So that brings to the end to the discussion on the hypocalcified structures of dentin. Stay connected with this channel for another episodes of another question and happy learning till then. Stay connected.